And welcome back to Frontline. I'm Joe Pinion in for Carl Higby. Well, on the 4th of July, families gather, fireworks fly, celebrations throughout the nation. Essentially a sense of deep pride to be an American. But when looking at the current state of our nation, many simply feel disappointed because our leaders are letting us down. We are a divided nation led by a president who took his oath of office, quoted Abraham Lincoln, said his whole soul was in uniting this nation, and yet he can't seemingly get through a simple day without vilifying half the country. And we see it in every avenue, from the way we treat our troops to the way we treat our parents. How do we go from encouraging parental involvement in schools to placing them on a terrorist watch list? Don't we all have the same goal a nation united around the safety and security of our presidents, our families, our children? Is it any surprise that Americans are losing a sense of patriotism? We're at a record low where only 38% of U.S. adults who say they are extremely proud to be an American. You want a successful nation, then prioritize what's best for people. Joining me now to discuss this is Stacy and Carrie uh, from Stolen Co. Founders of uh, Unite the uh, Unite <laughs> Founders of Unite the USA dot org. Uh, so yes, uh, mouthful there, but glad to have you guys with us here on this Fourth of July, talking about the problems that we face with getting people to believe in the notion that America remains the greatest force for good in the world. Well, thank, thank you, you so much for having us. Yeah, we're here to have a totally different message compared to what we typically hear amongst those who are discouraged. And, you know, in our editorial for our monthly online newsletter, which we obviously send out monthly, as I said, uh, we featured about how a lot of people feel discouraged. And we understand that. We see it, too. I mean, it's important to be realistic. Mm -hmm but also to remember that we're not focusing on the clouds, the um, you know, discouragement. We need to remember that, that, that there that remains the light of, of Christ. So we as Christians believe firmly that it's important for us to be not overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. So we like to activate our fellow uh, Americans to say, hey, it's okay to be proud and grateful to be Americans today. Uh, uh, the far left has uh, done quite a job of emphasizing the different perceive their perceive they perceive anyway the the faults uh, of how our nation was founded. But you know what? We have a lot to be thankful for, and we did have amazing people that rose up to fight against evil back when our country was founded, and throughout our history. It's okay to be patriotic. <laughs> It's more than okay. It, 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 seems, it seems, you know, counterintuitive because, again, you think of all the things that we used to say we wanted. We wanted more parents to be involved, and now we right. effectively abuse the parents that show up. We said that uh, we wanted to have a nation uh, that could get around patriotism going all the way back to 9-11 when we saw uh, this nation truly come together and put our political divisions to the side, and yet now we see that social conservatism at its highest point point in close to a decade, nearly 38 percent of people saying they're conservative on social issues, up from 33 percent, in part because mm -hmm. it appears uh, the left is galloping left uh, faster than the universe itself can expand. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think that uh, the, the, the tide will come back even further um, as we continue to educate our young people and show them the truth. Educate. You know, mm -hmm. focusing on what is actually true yes um, and we can do that it starts in the home um right and with the family and uh, with those within your immediate circle of friends yes um at church focus you know, on the positives Absolutely. You know. Starts in those communities, starts in the home, starts in those churches, having communications with one exactly. another, being subject to one another. And as you say, uh, leaning not on our own understanding. Carrie and Stacy, exactly. thank you so much. God bless oh, you both. Well, Have you. a blessed Fourth of July. Thank you we'll so talk much. Soon. And we and can God bless America. Yes. And it is good to be proud to be American and grateful to God. Absolutely. All right. Coming up, the climate change movement. Uh, is it